Hello and welcome back. This is O Debbie, and this is episode 118 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. I'm over here at the Coliseum doing renovations <laughs> already. It's not even finished, and I'm doing renovations uh, because I miscalculated and uh, didn't take into account as much area that I needed for the Botania uh, ritual, which is the, one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this area. Uh, so I have laid out, uh, this is like the middle uh, of where everything came through. Uh, so what I did was bumped it out Three more slots on each side. I still have to knock out this entire section and move it. <laughs> uh, so what I did was, oh, this is so good. This has helped. Uh, the copy paste gadget has helped so much uh, because I can. I tore down this whole section and then went and copied uh, pieces from over here and built them over here uh, with copy paste gadgets so that saved so much time and <laughs> you're not gonna believe this but i died look at this i was over here and it was night time and i was just minding my own business placing blocks and a zombie hit me with magic <laughs> i mean because mobs really don't hurt me that much but he was doing something to me that uh was taking like half my life uh so i was dead before i knew it so uh luckily i was close by it, it was a challenge because i had been flying so my <laughs> my body was floating up here and i had to go get some blocks to pillar up to get it get my stuff uh, <laughs> if i could have flown it would have been great see you can see it it's right here uh, so let's get rid of that uh, oh i love how this looks it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome Epic. It's, oh i love that how that ritual looks it's pretty cool Uh, but yes, that is what I am doing. I'm trying to uh, adjust all of this. I still have to I'll have to go in and like add the stairwell back in. Uh, so that's going to be a challenge. This, this little section right here didn't come out very good. Boop. Oh, and dude, I got the got the mana coming in down there. Oh, you should check it out. It looks pretty sweet. Um, I was just uh, expanding this, so some of it's a little bit grassy uh, because I knocked everything else out. To uh, since I'm going to have to expand the top part, I might as well expand the bottom part too. Uh, so, pretty cool. Um, I could change this around. Oh, dude. Uh, that looks full. Why is it not triggering it? Hmm. Maybe I need to uh, get rid of the inverter uh, because that should have put it to not go off. And it should be getting, am I all out of liquid essence? Uh, it appears so, but I should be getting more in my mob farm. Uh, 
I like I just logged on and I was working on uh I was working on that building uh pronto so I haven't gone in to check on my mana. It should be he's, he's getting stuck. Let's see it got hundred Yeah, you can see it coming in, so it's coming in and going out as quickly as it gets it. Uh, see him? Aha, there it goes. So, it should technically not be on. It's very not thing. Oh, that was a little bit of lag. Uh, honestly, I could probably get rid of those two and only use one. Do, do, do. Oh, and this little guy, these are fantabulous. I love it. Um, let's see, I think you point it towards where it's supposed to come from. So maybe if I do that, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, so now it should be emitting a signal, output 15, and that should uh, turn this guy off because he's set to only be active without signal. And this little guy is doing the same thing. Uh, so they should no longer put essence in there since this is full. Compare. Just wish I could see what the signal was. Uh, let me see. If I if I get a band of mana which has a uh, Oh, I bet it's not set to push out. Yeah, it's... There we go. It's like immediately getting filled back up. Oh, that's all the way full. I probably should get a bigger... Anna. Uh, but that did not even turn it off. Um, <laughs> and these have uh, extra mana in them, so they're just filling it right back up. Uh, wow. My concern is... That that is not getting the proper reading. Like, to me, it should have shut off as soon as it became unfull. But I think there is an actual Batania mana detector. Mana detector? Yeah. Um, let's look at that. Maybe this is what I need. Hmm. So I'm missing some living rock. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had it working. Uh, but yeah, this isn't quite full. 
uh, but it's still emitting a signal like it's full. Uh, so I'm going to look at that mana detector book. Oh, I left it over at the area in the Britannia area. Uh, yeah, because the comparator is not working like I thought it was going to. I know that I made, oh, there it is right in front of me and I can't see it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I wish there was a search, uh, search bar or something. Um, I guess it would be in a mana manipulation. That's where I would put it. Uh, mana splitter, mana detector. There we go. Detects when a mana. Oh, that's not. Provides a redstone signal for the occasion. Okay, so that's not what I thought it would be. What's this? Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I would like to get one of those sparks that charge your items uh, for you, like your mana ring. That would be kind of cool uh, to have that. Lots of things would be really cool. Oh, mana on rails. Oh, that sounds so cool. What could be an easier way to transport mana over large distances than attaching a mana pool to a minecart? It's simple. <laughs> Similar to other types of carts in most respects, a minecart with mana pool can store and transport all well, mana on rails. <laughs> Breaking a cart with any mana in it will lose all contained mana, so be careful. This sounds cool. Uh, I'd love to be able to take mana from that central pool and have it carried around to uh, other areas in the Colosseum to feed my rituals and doodads to uh, to harm the mobs and to heal me. Uh, so that would be kind of cool. I thought about just having mana pools lining the whole thing, but that would be so many mana pools and having like a little railway <laughs> with a mana pool cart going around uh delivering mana to various places that would be kind of cool uh, so i don't know i might i might see if i can make that happen like they could just come over here get some mana and then take off <laughs> i wonder how that works with with sparks does it just go uh i don't know i would have i'm gonna play with that because i think that would be very uh appropriate for this area to to deliver the mana around to various spots uh, so yeah <laughs> um that is going to be in the works once i get this all squared away and i figure out where i want each of the little things to be placed at. Uh, so I still have uh, tons of work to do on this. Uh, I still have all of the uh, decorations on the outside because I didn't 
in my copy paste I didn't get the back part I stopped at like this railway and I didn't get uh, the one block out from it so it didn't copy that uh, so but uh, what I could do this is pretty cool I can just come back here um, and I could uh, go into copy mode I could get this guy and then come up to let's do this here <laughs> well I take that back because there is um there is one down here as well so plus I kind of want the signs as well so I don't have to place the signs ah yeah that's exactly what I want um, and I think that would get all of the doodads but I'm hoping that transfers pretty well so we need to go into paste mode uh, but I need to uh, rotate it around like that so that it's on the right place. Uh, and I need to put the block down like I think it was here. So now we can go and... Uh, dude, why are you so... Maybe I should go over here. Okay, and then anchor it, and then go into the GUI, and we can uh, uh, over one right there. Uh, yeah, that looks like it is the proper area. So uh, first, before we do it, <laughs> okay, it looks like we have all the stuff and things, so just right click and oh yes it was perfect uh, except yeah that one didn't go because uh, that's not actually on it I need to do that one that one and it looks like they all lined up uh, the only thing is the signs um, don't have the uh, text on them so I will have to go and do that awesome uh that saved me quite a bit of effort <laughs> i like that it's uh pretty snazzy uh on working on big big projects oh yeah so i kind of have to redo this where i like I have to redo this whole side because some of it was like this section was 433 uh, originally but now that I added this section on it has to be 333 <laughs> 3333 instead so I kind of have to adjust that and then go back <laughs> and uh, adjust the seating so that it will match up with those pillars and stuff and stuff um yeah and I just scooched the stairwells out a little bit got that going uh so now uh <laughs> I have to redo this whole back section here which won't be as bad because I don't have uh I really don't have these stairways finished uh they weren't I don't know it wasn't as nice as the other one <laughs> but the good thing is since I've done the first part um, I should be able to copy paste this over since it's exactly how it should be and then everything will be swell so yeah it just makes this section here a little bit bigger and I gotta go and 
redo the stairways too because it didn't it didn't transfer those very well. Um, I have been working diligently trying to get my uh, system all hooked up uh, <laughs> and ready to go in there. Boy, I tell you, it is a lot of work. Oh, and yesterday I had a trader show up that was a wandering trader, but he wasn't a trader. He was like a red trader or something. It's pretty cool. He had some different different trades on him and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit lost right now. Uh, I really want to get this uh, done so I can battle, <laughs> get do some epic battles over here. Um, so I'm going to be working on moving this wall out. Three. Uh, just like I did this one, uh, but it's going to be a lot easier So, because I can just use this copy-paste gadget to get everything uh, replaced and in, in the proper order very quickly. I am going to sleep because uh, sometimes nasty things uh, spawn that cast magic spells that just kill me dead. <laughs> uh, so yeah um dude let's uh i want to look at the i really would like to get that mana uh the mana detector working Ooh, i wonder can I use a storage vessel? Um, and then just have it uh, pull that mana into the system? Oh, hi, Sheila. Did you decide to come visit me while I'm playing? Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, I'm getting cuddles, guys. Sorry for the distraction. <laughs> I'm getting cuddles. The kitty in my lap. Um, yeah, that would be check it out. So, this, this just has me thinking, like, what if I put a storage bus on this? Because there's a mana, there's mana uh, compatibility for the AE2 system. So, uh, oh, storage bus. See if we can see the man on there. Yeah, okay, so I don't see it. Um, Maybe because it's not like in a tank. How do you get mana into the tank? Um, can you do that? Is that a thing? If I were a tank that would hold mana, what would I look like? Is it even considered a fluid? 
maybe uh, will pneumatic craft work? Can you even get a bucket of mana? I cannot get a bucket of mana. Hmm, so how is it supposed to, to have mana uh, capabilities if... Uh, get a mana peer-to-peer -peer tunnel, which may be able to send mana through it. But I don't know that it's going to see it as an actual fluid. Mana tea, mana berry milk tea. That sounds pretty good. Magitech mana circuit, Mahu Tsukai. That sounds um, interesting. Mythic botany. Oh, I think uh, I heard Direwolf talking about mythic botany. I don't think I've ever done anything. This looks like a new type of doodad. Dreamwood. Hmm. Things I know nothing about. And an element synthesizer. Yeah, I don't see I don't see anything uh mana void. I mean I know how the mana splitter works. What does a mana prism do? Oh, I think you can use energy to create mana. That uh, might be useful as well. An enchanter. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think this mana detector is going to do what I want it to do, though. I just thought... Um, I thought subtraction mode would be the opposite, and then as soon as it got completely full, it would not emit a signal anymore but it's it's staying on oh so. um the only other way I know is to like, uh, oh, I might have to do something that will detect uh, the actual strength of the signal um, instead of just um, detecting that there is a signal. Uh, I don't know that the RF tools can do that. Um, I think, is it the controller? controller. Screen controller, no. 
Okay, so maybe it's not our tools. I think it was, uh, what was it that I was using before? Generator controller? No. Xnet, that's what it is. Yes. Um, I think I actually might have some of these blocks over in here. Have you? Storage? Yeah, I have a controller. And I think I might still have, yeah, I got some cables over here. Um, but do I have the connectors? Mm, what were they? I thought they were called connectors. Yeah, like thread connectors. Hmm. Is it in here then? I'm pretty sure I took some controllers out of my mob system and I had to put them somewhere. I figured they would be... Aha! <laughs> there they are. Okay. Um, uh, should be able to get that set up. Hopefully, this will be a little bit more precise when trying to detect. Man, I'm kind of yeah lagging a little. <laughs> okay, so. Let's get like a controller. I guess we still need the comparator to connect up to. Uh huh. See, uh, now it should be able to detect. Uh, the signal from that. Okay, so what does this got? What kind of channel do we have here? Let's just um, get rid of the channel. Okay. We'll create a chemical Excellent. energy. Uh, yeah, we want logic. Logic is what we want. Um, we want to create a sensor here, I guess, a sensor for redstone if the signal is greater than or equal to 15. Um, Yeah, so now we just need to, yeah, this is probably going to shut, <laughs> turn everything on. Oopsie. But we need to, uh, oh, sweet, it hooked it right up. Uh, that is very, very hopeful. <laughs> um, oh, we need the cables here. Oh no. Might not have enough cabling for this. Oh no. <laughs> Why is it always one short? One short. Ah. Okay. Um What is this cable called? Red network cable. That's cyclic cable. There we go. Awesome. Okay. All 
All right. Um, now, so if the signal is 15, then we want it to uh, output redstone signal of 15 there. And there. All right, so while well, it's currently shut down, uh, so that is promising. Uh, now I could, I guess, potentially bury this cable underneath uh, just so it doesn't, you know, look too horrible. I don't know. I think it looks cool. I mean, I could probably move these blocks. It's not necessary. <laughs> that looks a little bit better. Uh, there's only one way to really uh, test this, and that's to hook it up and have it deliver. Oh, dude, if we're going to use rails, I will most likely have to bury this. I just thought of that. Or at least, um, you know, over here, like this or something. So, leave little areas on the sides. Just to, uh, oops. How do you know? Bring me my stuff. Like that. Yeah. Then we got room for a little part to come in. We could get two of them, one to like distribute stuff over here and then one to distribute stuff over there. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I love it. Uh, but I can't really implement that until I get the other side of this adjusted. Oh, man, I've never, I've never had a a mine cart with the mana in it before. I think it would be kind of cool to set that up. Uh, so, I, I was really liking the the transmitter there too. Let's see, I can move you away. I got another gadget though to do. Look, I got the destruction gadget and the compensate gadget. I have all the gadgets. So. Um, this is all stuff that I need to keep, too. Um, oh, I can go put these flags out and get them out of my inventory. Whoa! I better sleep. <laughs> my death. My death has humbled me. Oh, boy. I just looked at the time. I am so sorry. I get... I get uh get talking and boy I just lose track of time. There. So uh that's what I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna kill you. Oh sure. Uh just because so that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be working on adjusting this other side here and then playing around with some uh, uh, mana, uh, mana pool filled mine carts <laughs> and to see how that works because I've never, I've never done it before. And I want to have a more, I don't know, uh, interactive type world where not really interactive where but it's just 
alive. <laughs> you know, it's got a system with moving parts uh, and uh, active active parts. I really like the the drones because you get you get the movement, whereas you know in mods like Industrial Foregoing, which I love Industrial Foregoing because their stuff just works. It just it works how it is described and it's easy to uh, implement and understand. Um, but there there's not a lot of, of movement type things going on, uh, which I think is kind of like all of the fun of create is is having these big huge monster builds that move that have moving parts and you can sit there and watch them and it's cool uh, but that's kind of what i want i want to have like create a little system where i can have a mine cart come over here pick up some mana and take it to various mana pools around here uh that are gonna do do my stuff and things for me up here uh, so that all of my rituals when I come to fight my mana pools will be full I can just uh, start <laughs> start the fight and and go because everything's in place and ready to go that's what I want uh, so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna be uh, trying to work on Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, this wasn't that as hard as I thought it was going to be to to move this back out. Uh, I did some of it by hand, um, like the corners mostly I did by hand, but the big sections around here I just did with the copy paste. So it was it was pretty cool. It was all right. Um, yeah, so, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get getting, oh, look at that, I love it, um, I really still want to, even though I have this underground, super fantastic underground base going on, I still want to develop this area and, uh, continue to develop it, uh, I've even been thinking of, this area right here to me is screaming uh, for a mine colony. Uh, I'm thinking some just a huge mine colony uh, city over here with, I mean, there's literally tons of room. And there's this huge hill right here in the middle that just is screaming, uh, put a fortress here. Uh, that's going to be like the heart of the city and and you can like come up here and just gaze upon <laughs> the vastness of the city. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool and um, it would be cool to be able to see parts of that city from my little island over there. Uh, like to build up the coastline over here. Uh, that would be kind of cool because I know Mine Colonies has uh, like fishing docks and stuff like that. Uh, so I thought maybe I could put a couple of fishers over here and build them up and see what they look like maxed out because I haven't really done a lot of the maxed out stuff with Mine Colonies. Uh, <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know, a lot of the mods I I just don't get into because I usually get bored with my world uh, before I can get advanced into it because I find something wrong with my world, something that it's lacking, something crucial that it's lacking, <laughs> and it just throws me off with the world and then I wind up getting frustrated and starting all over and I have, that's one of the things about this world is that I haven't gotten that 
that feeling. <laughs> it's like every time I build something, instead of it being wrong, it's like right. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, that's exactly how I wanted it to, to be. Uh, and it's perfect. Uh, and I feel like I have everything I need in this world. So it's been really good for me to, to play it and to be able to get deeper into the mods, deeper into the mod pack and, and to do d bigger builds like this, because this is really fun trying to figure it out and make it work. So anyway, <laughs> enough rambling. I'm going to let you go. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.